Beretta's 1301 Tactical. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Just taken out of the box, never fired her around. Um, I've just loaded her up with some um, 7.5-34 gram. Um, just to run her in, this is going to be the first shot that we ever fire with this gun, brand new out of the box. Um, she's got a cylinder ball choke in. Um, loading the magazine was absolutely easy, very little resistance from the first round to the seventh round. Um, we've actually got eight rounds in here. Um, I've got seven in the tube, one in the chamber. Um, let's give her a bash. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Didn't oil it, didn't clean it, straight out of the box. Bolt locks back beautifully as it's supposed to, nice and safe. Um, absolutely wonderful. I really do like this cross bolt safety. Um, nice and big red on this side. So if you see the red, you know she's hot, she's ready to fire. Um, it really is just a magnificent gun. Nice and compact, really small. I'm very tall um, and I still find it reasonably comfortable. Remember, this is a gun that is designed for function over form. It's not a sporting gun. It's supposed to be nice and compact. Keep it close. Right here. Move in small, confined areas and spaces. Absolutely perfect. Beretta's 1301 Tactical. Just eight, her first eight rounds ever. Straight out of the box. No problems as expected. I've loaded seven rounds into the magazine tube now, nothing in the chamber. And you may ask, well, how does the gun actually work? Well, if you want to use the full capacity, which is seven in the magazine tube, one in the chamber, you'd have to lock the bolt up back, get one directly into the chamber, and then feed the tube. In this case, I have nothing in the chamber. You can rack until you're blue in the face, nothing will happen. I need to get the first round out of the magazine tube, onto the flipper. And to do that, you simply depress this little button here. You could hear that. The round is now lying on the flipper. There it is, I can actually see it. If I rack the slide now, the bolt back and let go. Massive cocking bolt handle Yeah, Really, really nice, you can't miss it. Um, I now have a round in the chamber and now it's simply a matter of pulling the trigger. Let's see if we can speed things up a little bit. That was seven rounds. I haven't touched the sights. We had about seven meters, nice and close. Everything is absolutely 100% center. That was seven rounds. That was very nice. No recoil pain, no recoil hitting, stock hitting you yet, even though it's a short stock. And the whole seven rounds, my eyes are open, focusing on the front sight through the peephole. No problem to track it for every single shot. That's really wonderful. In fact, I'd like to try maybe Maybe multiple targets, two targets, shot on each, and see how that goes with eight rounds. Let's give it a bash. So to take advantage of the full capacity of this tactical shotgun, the 1301 from Beretta, one would have to get the round into the chamber first, or last. So what you could do, and there are two different ways of doing this, either drop your round in the open chamber, the, the bolt is locked back, drop it in. You don't have to push it in, just pop it inside there and depress the bolt release. I now have a round in the chamber. Not a bad idea to put the safety on. The gun is now live, which makes it a bit dangerous. So this isn't my preferred way of doing things. We can now go and insert seven rounds into the magazine. That gives us eight rounds. The other alternative, is that we put seven rounds in the magazine tube. Two three, four, five, six, seven. Now the question is, how do we get around into the chamber? Well, simple. Get one onto the loading plate, put it in the chamber, and now we take the last round, stick it into the magazine tube, and we are back to seven plus one eight rounds. The disadvantage of this is that whilst we're loading the magazine, tactically, we don't have a loaded chamber. So the advantage of always having a loaded chamber whilst you're reloading, and remember, it might not be from empty, you might just want to top up, is that if something had to happen, 
you would have a round in the chamber and you could go immediately to fire. Absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. A wonderful, wonderful gun to shoot. And you just know that you've got that Beretta reliability. That blink system is so quick. There's no way I could out-trigger this action. It is extremely quick. We've put a few magazines very successfully through this Beretta 1301 Tactical, but it's all been birdshot and heavier birdshot. Yeah, I've got some buckshot. Um, these shells are loaded with uh, nine lead balls. We're at about 10 meters. Um, I'd like to see how she performs. That's what she looks like. Let's get a round up. Seven rounds, nice and slow. <laughs> Absolutely devastating. <laughs> that blink system, this gas operated system of Beretta, they really have perfected it. I mean, I've shot now from seven and a half, 28. I've now shot buckshot. She handles them, no problem. The recoil impulse pretty much feels exactly the same. Um, I will confess that on the buckshot, you could feel a little bit more of a push, but certainly nothing that would slow your rate of fire down at all, nor will it um, obscure in any way your sight picture. Um, the recoil impulse is straight back, um, and it's really not much to talk about. It's um, an exceptionally pleasant gun to shoot. Let's try some slugs. We are at about 13, 14 meters. Not too far, it's what the range allows, nice and safe. I just want to see how she performs with these slugs and pretty much how she feels on the shoulder. Slug looks a little bit like that. It's over 400 grains of solid lead. Let me try five rounds. Absolutely no problem. Locks back as it should. Once again, guys, and I keep saying this, and I say it over and over and over again, the recoil impulse that one feels on your shoulder, that you feel on your cheekbone over here when you're firing these 1301 guns, whether it be the tactical, the comp, the compro, the compro with the Tony system, which is the top of the line gun, uh, competition gun, one would think on a light, compact little gun like this, so small that you'd really, it would be unpleasant and it would hurt. It really doesn't. It's an exceptionally pleasant gun to shoot. I mean, I could get a, a small frame teenage girl here now and she would shoot this absolutely no problem, which means that builds confidence. It's an easy gun to shoot. So after you focused on safety, which is always your priority, you can focus on absolutely everything else and just know right here that this will never let you down. It's 100% reliable. I mean, and, and you can't really say that for most guns. This is just phenomenal. So here we are on the range, Beretta 1301 Tactical, some buckshot, tin of condensed milk, getting a little bit bored of shooting the paper targets. Um, buckshot, let's have a look. Fire on me safe, and uh, that was absolutely devastating. <laughs> oh, you can have so much fun with these. Just keep it safe. Beretta's 1301 Tactical. Slug. Cool drink. <laughs> Missed one. <laughs> Fantastic.
Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. For the two I had left. We got some cleaning to do. Guys, please, if you make a mess on the range, it's your responsibility to clean it so that the range is in the same condition as the next person that comes to enjoy it. So all of this will be cleaned up by yours truly before I pack up my goods and go home. If you've been following any of my videos, anything related to the Beretta's superb range of 1301 shotguns, whether it be the Tactical, the Comp, the Comp Pro, the Tony System Comp Pro, um, you would have heard me go on and on and on about the Blink system and their gas-operated recoil system. Highly reliable and exceptionally pleasant to shoot. So unlike guns that are semi-automatic that require inertia to operate where the gun needs, the shotgun needs something, some form of resistance so that the bolt can move back, the Beretta really doesn't. They are super quick, super efficient, and they really work and are exceptionally pleasant to shoot. Now to make that point, I've got a backstop here three meters away from me, nice and safe. I'm going to load her up. Um, we don't have to do a lot of ammunition here to make my point. Let's say that's two, three, four, five rounds. Also, I'm going to be using seven and a half 28s, which is typically the lightest ammunition that you would possibly be using in this gun for training purposes. In a tactical situation, um, you'd be using much hotter ammunition, which once again is even more reliable. I'm not going to offer resistance. I'm not going to pull the gun into my shoulder, but I am going to control her because she is going to jump around a little bit. So I'm simply lightly holding the fore end at the front. I'm going to hold the shotgun like this and we're going to fire five rounds. And I'm going to show you how that gas operating system compensates for everything. You don't need to put pressure onto the back of the gun. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice and safe. You could do that with one hand. You could fire the shotgun if you needed to. For example, if you lost the ability to use an arm or a hand in a, in a firefight or a car accident and you then needed your, your firearm. This gun could be used one-handed. It's nice and compact. It's short. It doesn't require a lot of hold to make her fire. She'll work under almost all circumstances. She's absolutely fantastic. If you're in the market for a highly, highly reliable, easy to shoot, easy to operate, no unnecessary buttons, everything that is on this gun is needed, required. The only thing I'd add is possibly a red dot sight, and that would just make this absolutely magic. If you're in the market for such a gun, look no further than Beretta's 1301 Tactical in the color of your choice. These are going to be available in FDE, uh, olive drab green, uh, black, and I believe the marine to come out soon. So that's just absolutely fantastic. Go to your nearest dealer and make your inquiries.